Let's say hello to comedian, actor, producer, and all-around great guy, Mr. Billy Crystal. He's out with a brand new book about his life, his career, and what it means to be 65. It's called Still Fooling Them, Where I've Been, Where I'm Going, and Where the Hell Are My Keys. Billy <laughs> Crystal, good morning. Good to see good you. Good morning, Matt. It's been a long time. It has been a long time, and I mean this as nothing but a compliment, but I can't imagine you being 65. Uh, yeah, either can I. That's why I wrote the book. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, how, you've heard the question a thousand times. How old do you feel emotionally? Oh, seven, eight, <laughs> at times. <laughs> a little more no, than no, that. No, I, no, I, I'm there. I'm you there. really do? Yeah, but, but, but I, you know, it, that's a good thing. Because that's an assumption that 65 is done with, you're done... So on, so I feel better than I have in a long time. But you're etched in my mind. I don't know why you're etched in your 40s in my mind. Yeah. See, my 40s were difficult. Were they? Yeah, this is, be this is more This is a better time? A much better time. Stereotypes about getting old, your memory starts to go. I'm sorry? <laughs> <laughs> no, not your hearing. Oh. Your memory. Oh, yeah. No, no, my memory's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. You, you also start to but take... But let me tell you something, Al. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get mad. Um, napping? Do you just fall off in the middle of the day? No. No. Are you not a good napper? I'm not a good napper. No, I, I've never been a good. I'm, listen, I'm, I'm an insomniac anyway. I, I've been up since 1948. So, <laughs> so One I, long I, I, spell. I, no, I, I haven't done a napping thing yet. You no. get grumpier when you get older. People say that older people, as the people as they get older, tend to get annoyed more easily. Maybe that's true. I, I think we finally gotten one here. Yeah. Yeah. What, what annoys like you? Like the notes that are falling off I your just, lap. That's I'm sorry. Me I'm now. running around it's here. Annoying me. Yeah. It's annoying what else me. annoys you? These. You write about some about this in the book. Yeah. Um, the TSA regulations are not your favorite things. No, I've gotten groped. I've gotten fondled. <laughs> and, um, Let's stick to the TSA though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just they, they bug you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I listen. I do a great job because we've we've been good. But it's just, they get a little too familiar. Cell phones in restaurants. The worst thing ever. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, besides the theater. The theater is, a, what I was doing on Broadway. 700 Sundays. And we're coming back. Right. We'll be here in November with a stop in Minneapolis first. Um, I'd be on stage and people would, this, now this is way before this started, the texting thing started. Right. Before, and I start playing the first act. And this woman is on the phone. So I started playing it to her. And she looked up and she went, I have to go, he's looking at me. <laughs> Did you ever just look at somebody and say, put it away, or I'll wait for you, answer One the phone? One show, we had 12 rings in oh, late my. in the second act. And you know the show And people well. need to know. I've seen this three times. It's a very intense show. Yeah, and, and it gets, you know, especially towards the end. And, uh, and then they had personalized rings. So you'd hear... Da 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 And you know, you know, it's a Godfather theme, and it, you, you don't want to say to whoever it is, put that away, because you don't, you know, you don't know who know. that is. Yeah. Well, I'm, no, I gotta take this call, pal. I gotta take this call. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, it, get, it gets a little freaky. So you just did something. You're such a good guest, because you led me right into my whole next section of the interview, which is about the great impersonations you do. And, and, I, and I know for years, we've talked about this, the whole Saturday Night Live Fernando thing, there had to be a time where you just got sick and tired of people coming up on the street and saying, "You look marvelous." Right. The guy did it outside when I did my tease. But but now and that's twenty but seven years. Eight years now old. after all these years, is it a compliment again because oh, sure. the character was so important to people? Sure, and you know because of the um, the YouTube and the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> That's very 65. Because of that yeah, internet and the, thing. Yeah, yeah. And the computers that the young people have. Um, yeah, it lives on. So people see it. So that's kind of great. I've always loved your Muhammad Ali. And, and I was reading that the voice actually came to you almost accidentally. It did. I, I was uh, at The Godfather, apropos of what I just did before. Right. And watching Marlon, who was so incredible in it. So I said, I, I could do this. So I started trying to do Brando. And I wasn't hitting it. So it became Ali. It was like, Michael. I never wanted this for you. I wanted you to be Senator Corleone. I wanted to be Joe Fraser. I want to be the greatest of all time. That's really how it happened. And did it just yeah. like a light bulb go yeah, on? Yeah, my a eyes second? went, whoa, you know, and that. And that's how it happened. That's how I, how I ended up meeting him. I talk about so many great characters on TV and in the movies. I, I think the scene that, that will forever be associated with you is when Harry met Sally, the restaurant, Meg Ryan. Tell me how the scene the, where she fakes an orgasm. How the scene came back, was it on the page that way, or was there a lot that happened kind of improv during the shooting? Well, it's, it started in rehearsal. 
where Nor Ephron, who was so great, and um, said to Rob, um, you know, women fake orgasms. And he was, like, shocked. I said, well, they haven't faked one with me, <laughs> which became a line that I did. In right. The so now Meg and I are uh, down at Katz's Deli in the Lower East Side, and we're about to shoot the scene. And um, we talked about it. And, and in that rehearsal, uh, Meg said, well, I should fake one. I should fake one in a public place. And I said, yeah, like a restaurant with a lot of people. And she said, and I'll give up a huge one. And I said, yeah, and then there should be an older woman who says, waiter, I'll have what she's having. Is that really how it happened? That's exactly how it happened, because Rob was a great director. Still is, of course, but for that movie, the perfect director. Nora was great, and Meg was the perfect partner. And when you saw it on film and saw the audience reaction, well, was it crazy. satisfying? Went crazy. Went crazy. I was sitting in the back. Uh, the first screening was in Pasadena, test screening. And... The funny part about it was in rehearsal, you know, before we shot it, Meg was giving sort of a, she was a little nervous. So the first orgasm was like so-so. The second <laughs> one was like, you married 12 years. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then Rob said, no, I want you to do it this way. It was like this. Like and he, newlyweds. <laughs> and, he, and he sat down opposite me. So now it looks like I'm on a date with him. Uh, or Sebastian Cabot. <laughs> and he, he said, Matt, he has an orgasm that King Kong would be jealous of. And then, you know, his mother played I'll Have What She's Having. Yeah. She was the woman. So he finishes this huge thing. The extras applaud. And he pulls me aside and he goes, oh, that was, I, I shouldn't have done that. I said, no, Meg is fine. She's okay. No, I just had an orgasm in front of my mother. <laughs> <laughs> there are fabulous stories in the book. I know you're a big Yankee fan, as I am. It's got to be hard with all the scandals this year. It just leads me to the question, have you ever used performance-enhancing drugs? <laughs> um, just this morning. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Yeah. It worked. Yeah. Great to see you, Matt. Always great to have you here. And you're going back to Broadway with 700 Sundays, which, as I mentioned, I saw three times. Very moving Thank show you. to me. Thank you. It means a lot to a lot of people. Again, the book is Still Fooling. I'm Billy Crystal. Thank you so much.